Okay, so I dropped off here at the last video. If you are really, really hung up, I'm gonna go through this whole thing and think out loud for you. So the A, we continued on, the A was in common. So now we have A and U. So we wanna look for A or U over here. I don't see A, but here is a layer that we would have to fossil U. So we're gonna add that there. And then we have U, B, N. No more U's, but we do have B and N again. So that means U went extinct here, B and N continue to live through these different layers, these different time periods. Remember, oldest on the bottom, youngest on the top, B and N. Now I'm gonna say, where does B overlap here? I don't see more Bs, but I do see an N. Wow, N is our real champion here because this is telling us sort of how long they live. So N lived through three different strata, whereas T only lived in one. So if we found T anywhere in the fossil record, we would know that it existed at this time period because it only existed in one time period. We would call that an index fossil. So moving on, O, we have the O in here. I don't have an O here. We have no more Ns. N did go extinct, it wasn't the true champion. And then we have OXD. Clearly D overlaps here, N. So this would be our youngest layer. And um, the fossil that existed between the two would be M, sorry, D. And you'll notice X only existed in one layer. So that would be an index fossil, all right? Anything that only exists in one layer would help us date that layer. O wouldn't be as good because it was in two layers and we wouldn't be able to date it. 